Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here with more Let's Play Shining Force 3 Scenario 1. Alright, um, so I've done a couple of things that I'll go ahead and show off. Uh, I bought... Special item, Loincloth. Um, it's a deal in the item shop. I went to go buy uh, another medical herb and it popped up as one of the deals. It, just like in um, Shining the Holy Ark, uh, it, if you buy, if you talk to them when and they, they get something in immediately, they'll offer right off the bat. Otherwise, you can buy it in the special deals later. Um, it was eight gold and it raises crit. Um, I don't know what the what it says on it, but it's supposed to be like it covers it, it covers the naughty bits. Um, it says something. Um, I also bought another bronze knife. I'm gonna need that in the next battle. Um, I also got uh, when I bought that, I got the power onk. Uh, it gives uh, it gives her level one, and she has level one onk apparently, and so she's got seal of sin. I'm not sure where that came from. That may be just from the Ankh itself. Um, but it gives her tornado magic. So now she has kind of a weak offensive ability rather than trying to beat something in the face. Um, and everyone else is pretty much the same. Um, I should buy some more healing items, but I'm not gonna. I've got enough. So we're gonna go ahead and leave Railhead. And in the process, we're going to stop and talk. Because we cannot use the train. Yep, we've, we've just got to walk. Got to huff it. Someone could ride on Don Terry's back. Oh, that's just... Oh. And a mysterious voice asks how we can get on the train. And it's Julian from the bar. I thought you had to get on train. Yeah, he was supposed to be on the train, but he decided not to. Republican rubes. Hey, you just said that we were more intelligent because we knew about your creepy vandals. Ah, yep, you spoke too soon, ass. Nope. <laughs> I'm... Ah, <laughs> uh, he's a mercenary. Yes. Everyone was a mercenary in Shining the Holy Ark, so I wonder what kingdom he's from. <clears throat> Enric. Enric. Cough. Um... Yeah, you could trust me. It's better than trusting those guys. Yeah. That's Garzel's unit. So, yeah, we're kind of boned. I'll guide you to the switching point in return. I'd like you to take me along. Yeah, yeah, we'll take him. The Imperial Army's already organized. Have you not noticed that they're in an attack pattern? And we know his name because we saw it. His name is Julian. Julian the Soldier joined the force. Alright, he has basically... He's the same as Symbios, because Julian, Symbios, and Median are all main characters, so they all start off as soldiers. So, let's take a look at him, shall we? Uh, he comes equipped with an Iron Blade, and he also has the Return Spell, which is why you really don't need to invest in uh, Angel Wings. Uh, he is not going to be a permanent member of the Force. He is only here for part of the game. That's because he... He is technically the main character of Shining Force 3. He's the main 
main character of the story. So he's very important. So he's in all three parts, and because parts one and two happen at the same time, he can't be around the entire game. So don't get too used to having him around. But he's got pretty decent stats, attack of 18, defense of 10, agility of 10, luck of 5, speed of 6. That's really good speed, uh, considering that's about the same as our... Uh, uh, our other hero, and then second only to Dantares. <laughs> so, yeah. We're going to be using him for a lot. Uh, before I start moving on, bad guys. We've got snipers who are the same. We have the Estonia soldiers. They are the same as the Cerebrand bridge commander, the infantry with a halberd. Halberd. Um, so we've got we've got a couple of them. Notice that it's they're kind of spaced out really far until you get here. And then we've got a whole slew of birdmen, a couple more Dystonia soldiers, and we also have, if I can actually target them, a priest with heal 2, a power onk, which gives him tornado 1. Not very high HP and stats, but kind of a threat. And then Imperial Mage with a bronze rod and uh, blaze level 2. The Birdmen are a joke in this. It looks like there's tons of them. There are several of them, but they weren't much of a threat in the last fight. They're even less so in this fight. So, what we're going to do is we are going to move forward as fast as possible. And we'll go ahead and get an attack with Julian so you can see what he is. And he needs to level up badly. He's level 4. But he starts off with pretty decent damage. And I need to have Don Terry's give him that knife. I should have done that, but I want to get over to the ruins first. Um, I want to take care of that. Because not like they won't be close enough for a while. But yeah, I'm starting to get a lot of accessories, so we're, we're equipping our people. Um, we're still on par for level. I mean, if you look at the level in which people join you, they're all, uh, Irene joined us in the last fight as level 4, and uh, Julian just joined us as level 4 now. So if that gives you an indication of what level you're supposed to be, I'd say they, they're going to start off a little under-leveled. Because if you were only level 4 going through this, that would be ridiculously impossible. Unless all you did is made a beeline for all of the bosses. Uh, for boss or for fights that had bosses, and then decided to say screw it for fights that don't have bosses. And this is the perfect example of great enemy grouping. Uh, but yeah, it's really... You, you would probably be level 5 average here, so being level 6, good. Because they're going to, like I said, they're going to start off a, a fair bit weaker. So. Alright. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move Don Terry's over there. I'll move Julian here to get an attack in. And then I'm going to send Julian and Don Terry's over because they've got really good movement and they're already. And Julian already learns a level 1 special. He learned Afterburner. Wow. Um, fantastic. Alright, and now Symbios gets to get smacked in the face. And because it is a Halberd, he is weak to it, so he's going to take a fair bit of damage. And I wanted to have Irene kill him, but he's blocking the path. Oh, you little rat bastard. Fine. Get to show off Tornado 2 is a spell that we can use. I mean, we've already seen it, but... And XP for our healer is always a good thing. Granted, I think she only got 7 XP from that. That's pathetic. Alright, we will 
heal Symbios, because he just took a lance to the face. And Irene learns Brutal Shock, so everyone's learning their level 1 abilities, except for Don Terry's, who's going to be a little bit behind. So, it happens. Alright, I need to have Don Terry's give him a special, or give him that knife so that they've got room, because they're both going to need a free slot in the Ruin fight. Because being the second ruin, the ruins get more progressively difficult as time goes on. All right. No. All right. Go over here, and Don Terry should be able to. Well, he's not going to be able to make it in there in the next part, so. It's going to be another round of turns for them before they can go in. Because you've got to be kind of careful about it. The Birdman will not go after your troops going toward the ruins. Because that would just make this fight even more difficult. So, they're not that much of a dick. And as long as you keep moving your force forward, they'll they'll be preoccupied with that. All right, so we can do this. All right, inspect the ruins. Dontarius took a peek inside the ruins. Push off, freak that treasure's mine. If you can afford to, yeah, we've got to stop the bandits. And we'll send Julian in first. And then the rest of our force will just stay out here and deal with these guys. Not that it's... Not that this is a threat of any sort. In fact, nothing in this fight except for the new mage and the new priest are a threat. Everything else is just a waste of time. See, those birds aren't going to even... Come after us. We've already triggered the three that are going to try to... And I'm going to stand here and get the attack bonus from being next to Symbios. And one shot of Birdman! 25 damage. Hot damn, Hayward. That's just... that's brutal. Ah, oh, our force just cuts through things like a hot knife through butter, doesn't it? Alright, and inside the ruins. The thieves get the first go. Which I may have screwed this up by having Don Terry's do it. I should have probably had him... Uh, can I can't reach you from there, so... I'm going to save Maskerin because we're going to end up uh, meeting Blaze level 2 on a lot of those guys. So. And. Yeah, why the hell not? It's Symbios. He's, he's kind of a god among men. And you can almost one-shot the brand new bad guys, Symbios. That's not... Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's make that happen. <laughs> oh, my healer is going to have an insane amount of kills, and she's not even a master. But only 9 XP. That's kind of disappointing. Speaking of Monk, and I can't do anything with her yet... So we'll move her forward. And you're going to attack Obright, because you're special. But Obright is in a higher land effect bonus area, so... 
Actually, does he count as being in the trees? I don't think so. Nope, he doesn't. And... You'll probably kill him. Or not! I was actually really expecting Hayward to just kill him. Yeah, have fun with that. Oh, they're actually still doing damage to Symbios. That's kind of weird. Alright. Obright. Obright takes out the Birdman, and Hayward now views him as a partner. Alright, and now we're back in the ruins. Alright. And... I can't really do anything here. But I can attack him with that, so we're gonna... And it's fine. Getting shot with an arrow is not really gonna do much against him. Granted, Julian's a little weak, so I'm a little concerned about it, but we can we can do this. It's not gonna be not gonna be pretty, but it's definitely doable. Alright, we've got two more birdmen coming after us. Ow. Okay, you're still kind of a threat. I'll attack you, because I'm going to have Irene come in, and you're going to dodge my attack because you're a dick. And I don't have heal level 2 yet, damn it. Oh, doesn't matter. Heal. Yes, Grace, please keep him alive for just a little bit longer. And get XP for doing it. That's what we want. Irene, kill him. Brutal shock! And it's just one solid punch. And it levels her up to five. Fantastic, Irene. And she finds medical herb out of it. And more birdmen. More bald people. And we're just gonna do this! I love doing that! Uh, Hayward is one of my favorite characters in this game. He really is. Oh, you are just the worst kind of ass. Still, she's not taking too much damage, so... Alright, move my guys over there. Alright, and now we're back into the ruins. And we could knock... Um... We can knock that treasure out of him, which we'll go ahead and do just to make sure we get it. Thief drops the treasure. Dontaries levels up to six. Thank you, Dontaries. And we get a goddess tier, which is good. Alright, um, we're gonna go back to equipping the blade. But we're not gonna attack him, we're gonna wait another turn. And you're gonna get attacked. Alright, Julian might actually die. I'm getting a little concerned. Alright, um... For shits and giggles... We'll have Maskrin kill. Like, I really don't need to be doing this. I really don't. This is actually kind of a waste of MP. But she needs XP. She needs to be able to do something. She hasn't done crap. Alright, um... 
Why the hell not? Now, I could have given uh, Maskerin the Ankh, because it, is, it does count as a mage weapon, so she could use that. But I figure she doesn't really need uh, another offensive spell. She already has one. Ah, you died this time, didn't you, you little bastard? Uh, I figured it would be a little more useful on Grace. Uh, we'll have Irene heal herself in the next turn. As I was about to say, she's not going to get much XP from this. Yeah, 7 XP. Well, Irene probably would have gotten more XP, but... Yeah. It's one of those six of one, half dozen of the other type deals. Alright. That's the treasure we want. And Julian is probably dead. Oh, thank you for blocking. Um... I'm gonna heal Julian <laughs> so that I stop worrying about that because Julian can attack he still hasn't gotten a turn yet and Julian will attack and get the treasure and almost one shot the thief jeez alright now this fight's pretty much done. Now that you've got the treasure, the re the outside the outside fight will end because I probably won't get a chance to kill the thieves before they leave the ruins, which means they will the ruins will collapse. And now we've got six guys to deal with with pretty much an untouched force. So, I'm not too concerned with the outcome of this fight. I'm going to move all of my people over here. Uh, it's, I'm going to keep them in a line, which is probably not a good idea for Blaze, but... Alright, so yeah, the thieves are going to leave, because they get the first turn. And now that they've left, the ruins automatically collapse. And... Fight over. But we got the two treasures that we needed, so... Not at all concerned about it. And now those birdmen will probably make a beeline for... Our two stragglers. But not really all that concerned about it. Yep. You're gonna go after Dantares and do a point of damage. And I moved Irene too far. But she was gonna heal herself anyway, so I... Damn it, I didn't have her heal herself, did I? Alright. Hayward will get an attack in. Hayward will one-shot him. Not what I was expecting to happen. <laughs> not that I'm, I'm, you know, turning that down. But not really what I was expecting to happen. Alright. And we are going to switch back to the Halbred. Hal I, I would say Halbred, but it's Halbird. Because it's B-E-R-D, but Halbred. And even with the Loincloth, he hasn't... Because he doesn't have any special rank in Halbred, it's not really doing much. But I didn't want to take the Iron Bracer off Symbios and... Really, Hayward doesn't need any more critical. Uh, I 
And Protect Ring raises defense and heals. So yeah, there's that. That's, a, that's actually a really good accessory. That will actually probably go on Maskrin, because that will give all of my magic users some ability to heal. Because you can use the, the item as like you could in Shining Force 2, and it'll give you... I think that one gives you heal level 1. Which seems like kind of crap, but... Alright, I'm almost to the point where I can start laying into these guys. And... I gotta move them to hell and gone around. So I may end this video quickly, because I'm coming up on 26 minutes. Yeah, I'll go ahead and end the video here, and we'll finish off the fight in the next bit. So yeah, um, I will see you guys in the next installment. Till then, later everyone.